Y'all, we getting ready for the Arnold. I am super excited because I honestly have been in a little bit of a slump. Not a little bit, a lot of it. Let's keep it a buck. I've been in a lot of bit of a slump when it comes to me bodybuilding. However, I felt the fire starting to ignite in my body. And now I can tell the brain is switching. We're, we, we've been off and now it's switching back on, which... It's totally fine because we can't be on all the time. So since I have to travel, I get overwhelmed easily when I have so much stuff to do. My to-do list is really, really long and I do not like waiting to do all my tasks the day before I leave. I don't like doing all of my packing, so I always like to separate it, right? So the first order of business I need to do today, I want to go ahead and get my nails done, all right? I'm going to get these nails done because I leave on Wednesday. I'm actually driving to Olivia's house. Olivia lives 45 minutes from me. Her and Ben just moved to North Carolina, so she's 45 minutes away from me. And then we're going to drive to Alexis's house, who was about two hours away from us. So we're going to have a whole girls trip this weekend. Alexis and Olivia are both in prep. Wellness is wellness. Olivia is an NPC wellness athlete and then Alexis is IFBB pro wellness athlete. So y'all gonna see some wellness things going on this weekend. Um, we're gonna have a girls trip. We're gonna have so much fun. However, today is order of business. I want to go ahead and get these nails done. We need to go to the studio and I need to grab brushes. I need to clean brushes. I need to get my lighting. I want to go ahead and organize my kit. So that way, if there's any products I need to go ahead and order or pick up, I can do so. And I believe that's it for today. And some laundry. I want to go ahead and pack my clothes because one thing I hate doing is packing my clothes the day before because I feel rushed. I can't think. So go ahead and do my laundry, pack my clothes. That way I don't have to worry about that. So the only thing I really want to be worried about the day before I leave is just basically meal prep because y'all know meal prep for travel is always a thing. I am back to just tracking my protein. I'm going to hit my coach up this week for my check-in because... I got some questions about some things. So let's go get these nails done. All right, nails are done. I finally have found a nail girl. Yes, I know, simple, basic. Um, These are my nails. So this is my real nail. I don't have any tips or anything on it. My nails grow stupid fast. They always have. Um, This is honestly, this is a little long for me. I just, I don't know. I prefer for my nails to be on the shorter side just for functionality however she just did um sns for the white tips and i absolutely love it yes it's basic i'm a simple girl so i went to lux nails lounge and my girl is karen i booked my appointment for two weeks because yeah mm -hmm. also side note i'm a convenience girl that place is right next door to my coffee spot madison perk which is also uh five minutes away from my house and five minutes away from my studio as well i like to do as many things in my community in my area as possible especially when it comes to you know services or places that are not big franchises so anything that you know mom or pop anything that's mom or pop, anything that's minority owned, like things of that nature. I am always, you just like try to support your community and support your people as much as possible because when you can pour back into your community, it's just so helpful. And it's just like, why, why wouldn't you want to do so, right? So that is, yeah, that was it. I got to get some food. I'm hungry. When I left my house, I was like, I should probably eat, but I just did not have an appetite. And as soon as I sat down and they started taking the um, previous SNF off, my stomach started growling. So now I'm like, great, I am starving and uh, I need to go ahead and eat because I found that I make poor decisions when I'm hungry. Don't be like me. Don't make poor decisions. Do not make poor decisions. All right. So a stylist that is moving out of this Sola gave me her mat and it has hardly been used that's so sweet of her because i currently don't have a mat right now and for all my hairstylists out there please we have to do a better job at preserving our bodies i feel like that something right there is a whole i, I could teach stylists how to deal with their bodies just from all the stuff that i went through but that was so kind of her it's brand new oh yes oh yes this is this is going to do the body some good so now i got to figure out how I'm going to go about it because it's really big 
and I have minimal space, whatever. I'll figure that out later. I just need to get the stuff that I need so that way I can just run through everything and I just need to get my stuff that I need for the weekend. Okay, I can't. See, now I'm sidetracked. My mind's going to different places. Okay, bye. hardest things is done all of the clothing that I need I know it looks like a lot however it's let me think I'm gone Wednesday night Thursday night Friday night Saturday okay so four nights that's not bad okay so what I did to keep me from overpacking basically I made a list for every single day and just literally wrote out like what outfits I would need so you know Basically, when I'm working, whatever I work in, I can train in, clothes for changing after that, going to um, finals, whatever the case may be. This helped me a ton because I have the tendency to overpack. So Alexis and I were recording the podcast earlier today and we were talking about how it's going to be three girls. Two of them are in prep. One is a makeup artist bringing a large chair and kit. And then outside of that, just all of our food collectively so yeah it was very important that I pack as tightly and precise as possible because space y'all I am smoked I'm so tired oh my gosh it's 12 30 so I have been waking up at 4 45 5 a.m and not intentional that's just when my body's been waking up I have not been sleeping well. Last night I actually did, I think I got, I think I might've got seven hours of sleep, hold on. Um, but I have just been so, having a really hard time sleeping. And so, long story short, I love that I'm waking up early and getting my workouts in because when I can just go ahead, train and get my workout in, the rest of the day is so much easier for me. However, the tricky part is, it's just taking me so long to fall asleep at night. However, I said all that to say, I'm tired. I had some computer work that I need to do for a video, but it's just gonna have to wait because mentally my mind's not there. I've been working on it for probably an hour and a half now and it should have not taken me that long. So I said, close it, let's move on to something else. So I am packing my kit, going through it. And, oh, y'all can't see. Brushes are clean. I'm going to be using the new Embrolease. I've heard about this for years, and it's supposed to be all makeup artists rave over it. They say it is the best moisturizer to use for your skin prep, so this is what I'm going to be using. I tested it on myself yesterday, and I got the oiliest skin of life. Yeah, it was bomb. So clean brushes, more brushes. And I think, not think, I know I got everything. There's a couple of things I know I need to restock on though. So I'm just going through here, cleaning, making sure everything's good. protein sources I like to go ahead and weigh out I know what I'm eating already for the rest of the week and put it in baggies the reason being is because show weekends are so busy and I like to simplify and make things as simple as possible not having to weigh my protein is one of them so I can just grab my protein source move on with my life because right now my main focus is tracking my protein 
Wednesday, February 28th, 10.35. Good morning. I am so anxious right now. It's not even funny. I just had to take several deep breaths and just pull myself together. So the reason why I'm so anxious is because my plan, I'm trying, like, I'm on a time constraint today because I need to leave my house by 1 o'clock to get to Olivia's by 2 o'clock. She lives about 40 minutes away from me, but you always want to account for traffic because Charlotte, hello. And so then we're going to drive to Alexis's house from her house, spend the night, and then tomorrow morning we're going to leave from Alexis's house to get to Columbus. And so this morning my plan was to sleep in a little bit. And I know a lot of it too has to do with mainly my period. I have been noticing my PMS symptoms. I don't know if it's because we've progressed in life and this is just what PMS systems, um, symptoms are at 35. However, raggedy ghetto do not like it. Jesus, please stop it. Um, so there's that. And I've noticed whenever my period comes, I'm getting very emotional. I always cry like a couple of days before and I get very anxious. So on top of that, of course, your normal exhaustion. I haven't been sleeping well. Last night, I actually fell asleep at 11 instead of, I don't know, 1.30 a.m. And what I've been doing is falling asleep at like midnight, 1 a.m. and then waking up at 4.45. So my sleep cycles have just been, my sleep cycles have been off. I said all that to say this morning, my plan was to sleep in a little bit instead of going to the gym at 6.30, I told myself, okay, I'm going to go at 8 because by the time I'm done, I can go ahead and run my errands and come back home. Well, my alarm went off and I think instead of hitting, no, I know, instead of hitting snooze, I hit off. So I overslept by an hour, which I mean, it's not the worst thing. However, it put me behind because I wasn't able to go to the gym. So I didn't get my lift in. I didn't get my cardio in. And now I'm scavenging around the house like because I still had to cook some more food. I had to pack things. I should have went to the store last night, but I was so tired yesterday. And so it just really got me going and feeling very anxious and almost to the point where I was just going to tell the girls, you know what? I'll just drive to Alexis's house tomorrow morning. But I just had to pause and tell myself, hey, this too shall pass. It's just the enemy playing with your mind. Take it one thing at a time. If you're a little bit late getting to Olivia's house, it's going to be okay. It's not the end of the world. So that's why I'm just kind of flustered and discombobulated right now. However, took shower, did my hair, been testing out um, products by the do. I know I'm late to the party. I was in my world of texture class by Cosmoprof on Monday, which is basically all curl texture class so from color cutting styling and product knowledge and the dude was one of the classes that i took it it's yeah i'm liking it a ton so that's what i got going on right now um y'all i'll i'll pick back up when i'm in a better mood because i'm not in the best mood right now All right, I have, how many more miles? Oh, I got 13 minutes till I'm at Olivia's. She only lives 40 minutes away from me. I could have gotten there faster, but good old Charlotte traffic. Feeling a little bit better. I'm just, I'm dragging. I know it's just PMSing, so I'm just gonna relax. I went ahead and got my Celsius because I did not have coffee. Well, I had coffee this morning. I had decaf. When I'm feeling anxious, caffeine is like the worst thing you can do. I probably shouldn't have any caffeine right now. However, I am. My anxiety did come down. I just got this because I am so sleepy. I'm just dragging behind, but I probably won't even drink the whole thing. So, yes, I was going to say so. Oh, that's what I want to say. Packing was so much. This is what I absolutely hate about being gone for so many days. It's just simply because I know if I'm gone for more than two days, the packing of it all, because when it's just like, if I'm only gone for two days, it's not much stuff. It's just enough food for two days. Uh, I don't have to have a bunch of clothes. Also, it's Columbus, Ohio, so it was cold. So I had to pack boots. I had to pack, pack a coat because it's 72 degrees in Charlotte, but in Columbus, I think the low, what was it? 
going to be tw it's 23 degrees at night or something so of course i had to pack accordingly for that so that takes up more space which is also why i love traveling in the summertime because shorts are small flip-flops wear my tennis shoes and we good to go but this is just that whole behind the scenes thing of being a pro this is just just behind the scenes of being a beauty and ifbb pro because it's a lot of back-end work, y'all. It's a lot of back-end work. It's a lot of planning. It's a lot of organization. However, comma, we're not complaining. We're not complaining. Hi, puppy. All right, y'all. Now it's for the fun part. Alexis is about to work her magic. Look at those glutes. Yes, thank you. <laughs> That's been your little dance lately. <laughs> so we're, she's going to um, figure out how to get all of our stuff in there fun times three bodybuilders two in prep one's makeup <laughs> and the pups <laughs> oh and here's olivia hey, with another hi. suitcase say hi, hi. <laughs> okay it is 11 37 and we just had our first pee stop how many pee stops do y'all think we're gonna make this entire trip whoever guesses it right congratulations you guessed it right <laughs> P stop number two. What'd you call it? Key break? Yeah. We're not pooping. I mean, it's whatever you need to do. <laughs> you can move. Just don't tell her. <laughs> All right. We just had stop three. Olivia was kind of in a little bit of a car sick situation. She's better now. She made a cocktail. I was the one that had to pee, so that's why we stopped. And of course, Alexis is always down to stop. So, yes. so far, three in. We have two and a half more hours to go. All right, so it is currently 4.02, so probably about 30 minutes or so ago. Oh, yeah, thank copyright strikes. <laughs> <laughs> we made our fourth stop. And now we got to go make stop number five. So <laughs> <laughs> I drink too much coffee. <laughs> Olivia had coffee. No, it's fine. Listen, I understand. It'd be like that sometimes. So stop number five. <laughs> All right. It is 505. After three, no, two other rooms, I finally was able to get into mine. Um, the first one, they gave me the wrong room. The second one, the room wasn't clean. Finally got a room here I've stayed at this hotel before for the Arnold I love it because look at this I've got all this space I have my room here last I think the last time I was here it was when Jordan was competing yeah so I'm super excited I'm super hungry I'm gonna have a meal unpack chill out for a bit and then I'm gonna go train because the gym here is also really nice all right we are all set up. I just hit a wall. I called Murillo. It is 6.53. Let me tell you something. I can't remember. Did I say this already? So it was blazing hot in my room and apparently now they don't have AC in the winter time. So I'm low I was way more pissed off earlier but I ate and calmed down. However, I have hit a wall, so I'm just going to go run downstairs, get some steps in just for movement, and then I'm going to shower and go to bed. Thankfully, I don't have like a crazy early stop tomorrow, so I'll see y'all tomorrow for the glam. I am the absolute worst so it is 10 20 um i've already done glam for the day now i'm just heading out well getting ready because i'm going to the expo to watch pre-judging for wellness with alexis and olivia um so the, the first time the last time i was here i don't know why my alarm didn't go off and i jumped up i had literally like 10 minutes before the athlete showed up to like get myself ready. If my first girl like today is at 5 30, then I'll wake up at 4 30. So again, last night I think I had a hard time sleeping because I had to sleep with that big old fan on since for some reason this hotel doesn't do AC uh in the winter time, which I know is a lie because the last time I was here, 
they had it. But anywho, that's neither here nor there. I had to sleep with a loud fan on, and so I just kind of tossed and turned all night long. Set my alarm for 4.30. I woke up on my own at 4. 45 because that's honestly what time I've been waking up for the past couple of weeks now and then I was like shoot my alarm didn't go off so now I'm like jumping up hustling trying to get myself ready and I'm like I look at my phone and I can see like my alarm flashing it didn't make any noise for some reason so I don't know what it is about whenever I come to Ohio my alarms don't work however comma here we are I'm just doing like a very light makeup look love the way my bikini girls makeup look came out I had Carissa come so Carissa hit me up last year just wanting to know more about Stage Glam. She was she was getting ready to graduate cosmetology school and she did this past May. She said she lives in Ohio. She was just interested, you know, just trying to figure out her niche, find her spot, Stage Glam. And so I told her, I said, all right, well, I'll be in Ohio, you know, next year, which is today for the Arnold. You're more than welcome to come hang out in Shadow. And that's what she did. And I love that because I can tell off the bat, she is someone who is very hungry. She's out here grinding. She's trying to figure out and figure out exactly what it is that she wants to do in the beauty industry. So I told her, ask me questions, pick my brain. I don't believe in hoarding information, especially with a situation like that, because I know what it's like when you want to do something and you're trying to learn and figure things out and there's no resources for help. So that was really nice. I love being able to give back. Hopefully tomorrow I'll do a better job of vlogging and stuff I didn't want her to do that for me because I want her to learn like she that's the least of my worries is her helping me get content however comma that happened this morning so I'm just gonna finish getting myself together and then we're gonna go to the expo all right y'all we ready got my water got my phone got my tampons <laughs> my period started last night um it's cold here so i'm dressed oh so warm let's go to the arnold this vlog this go around so it is Saturday the next day my girl looked beautiful yesterday I'll post some photos she got lost so therefore I didn't have time to like vlog much too much of the process but here are the before and after photos it is day two of the Arnold I am getting ready for pro bikini I've got two pro bikini athletes so we're gonna do their claim and then we're going to watch pre-judging y'all know of course I am hype about watching bikini. I'm a bikini pro myself, so this is just a perfect time. And because for me personally, I was just in such a funk about everything, especially when it came to me in bodybuilding and competing. And once I really got down to the root of the problem, it's just a matter of when life got difficult and I got thrown off of my routine, I got thrown off of my structure, um, I had home things going on, I didn't know what was going to happen next, basically. Bodybuilding was not my priority at that moment, and it's understandable. And so just within the midst of that, you know how sometimes when you just fall like so, so low, everything just seems so important possible I was feeling very hopeless around it you know but now things are slowly on the rise we're on the up and then there's nothing like going to a show for inspiration and what better than the Arnold so I'm feeling good I am coming out of my hole things are positive I'm doing all the things mentally preparing I always like to mental prepare myself before I go into a prep got my blood work back Got to have my phone call for that on Monday, and then we're going to go from there. We're not, I'm not going to be making anything, like any rash decisions. I'm just going to take my time, because that's the other thing, too. I think a lot of people always like to rush into it. No, we still slow girl era. We ain't in a rush. We're just going to take our time. We're going to allow our body to do what it do, and all is going to be well. So let's get ready for some glam.
just finishing up my hair. Just want to say thank you to Amber. You beat my face up, girl. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, so when I saw this picture that Phoebe Hagen posted, first of all, if you're a bikini girly, you know who Phoebe Hagen is, everybody loves and adores her. She's amazing, right? When I saw this picture, my eyes watered up because if you are a black bikini athlete, then you already know. The Arnold and the Olympia are two of the most prestigious bodybuilding shows. So the Olympia is always at the end of the year, well, end of the season, and that is the Super Bowl for bodybuilding. Then you have the Arnold Classic. The reason why the Arnold Classic is so prestigious is because you have to apply. It's invitational only. This is the first time that there has ever been four black bikini athletes, okay? So that's a big deal. I talk about representation all the time. If you're someone who doesn't understand why this is important, then this lets me know that you are just, have always been blessed enough to see people that look like you in spaces. However, you also need to understand that for a lot of us minorities, a lot of times we don't get to see ourselves in these spaces. So this is huge for the bikini division. And then to make it even more sweeter, Banya came in third place. To my knowledge, she is the first black bikini athlete to have ever placed this high in the Arnold 
Miss Bikini International. So a lot happened here. A lot of history was made and I'm getting chills sitting here just talking about and explaining. Of course, if you're not familiar with bodybuilding or you just watch my vlogs because you're not a bodybuilder, but you just love me, I appreciate it. But I'm sure we all can agree that this is freaking epic. Ooh, you guys, again, me vlogging. This is probably the worst vlog ever, but... <sighs> I'm sorry, I apologize. The glam, absolute, the glam for everybody this weekend, wow, chef's kiss. I was hanging out at the expo. I met a lot of y'all. Thank you so much for coming and saying hi to Alexis and I. I have been on the hunt for some new leggings because I just did an overhaul, got rid of a lot of things. Free spirit. I like these. I'll be sure to link them down below for size reference. I'm a size small, which when she told me to get a small, I thought she was bugging because, you know, we got we got a little bit more things going on than usual. However, comma, love how these feel. Super, super soft. They were $35, okay? Way better than paying $100 for a pair of leggings. So right now I am going to get ready to touch up Vanya because she's looking like she's going to be top three or four so proud of her and then guess what we're gonna do we don't end a vlog here because <laughs> i'm gonna keep it a buck i'm tired all right you girls tired and my social battery not much left so i hope y'all enjoyed the vlog i'm sorry if it was spotty choppy I, i'm sorry i tried all right i love y'all keep it simple cast one more net